We are for sure family. Hey, welcome back to Maddie Kitchen, coming from the for sure family. I'm here in North Carolina. This is my daughter, Ann, and I decided I was gonna cook her some salmon. I'm getting ready to make her some fried salmon croquettes. I chose to use red uh, salmon rather than the pink because I kind of like the way this tastes better, so I'm using And this costs a little bit more, but pink would do the same thing. It's just a difference in the taste. I'm using three cans of this. I already started with one little can. I'm gonna take it out. And sometimes they have a bone, you know, you have to take that bone out of it. You know, but if you get to take the bone out, them bones are so soft, they are fried red in and you will never even know it. Chop them up, uh, I chop them up a little bit. Okay. I don't see any bones in these. Here's the ingredients that I use, the vegetables. I don't, you know, some people put, I don't, I don't, like you, I said before, and you probably heard me say this, I don't use all that garlic, and if I use garlic, it's gonna be fresh garlic. Any vegetable I use is, uh, is uh, fresh. So I'm gonna start with some onion. Put a little onion in here. Mm -hmm. And I chopped them up really fine, so you know, have them kind of fine. Put some of my onion. I'm gonna use some red uh, peppers. It don't matter which in order, cause I'm gonna put them all in here, but I'm just starting with the red, put a little red pepper in here. And I'm gonna put a little orange peppers. That make it really taste good. And you know, peppers is so good for you. It cleans you out really good. So you should, I use peppers and all type of peppers and onions with everything I cook. Here's the yellow, a little yellow in here. I chopped them up really fine. Okay. And here's some green. Now this is the best one, the bell pepper, the green pepper. I think that make it taste the best. The onions, but I use these vegetables because they're good for you. Okay. So far, I, I used the red royal, it's red salmon, and uh, I put my green peppers, my yellow pepper, my orange pepper, and my red pepper, and some onion in here. That's all. Now I'm gonna put my eggs, crack my eggs, and I'm gonna put the eggs in here. Cause you need eggs to make it hold together. That's what the egg does, it holds it together. So I use eggs. Kind of nice. Eat them up a little bit. Not much, just pour it in here. You don't, have, you don't have to beat it up if you want to, but I just do it sometimes. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I don't. Pour the eggs, and I use two eggs. Pour it in here to. Okay. Now I'm going to take some saltine crackers. I use saltine crackers. I think the saltine crackers will give it a better taste. You can also use breadcrumb. And the breadcrumbs and the crackers just trying to hold it together. So you can cook it. So I take and do mine like this so I get enough. And then when you use the crackers and stuff, it'll give you more, um, it'll give you more salmon, you know, more uh, salmon. Spread it a little bit. It's nothing so simple, but it, those peppers I put in it make it taste so good. It really is. Put it up in there, some of them up. Okay. So that, but you know, you when you're doing salmon, you I use, you should use some gloves because it's easy to put it together with gloves. And I'm gonna put a little salt. All I use is a little salt because you really don't really need no salt in and and a salmon. I don't know. I'm just gonna put a little tap in it because I don't really need no. You don't need no salt in it. Just a little tap and pepper make it taste good. I, and this was seasoning. 
I don't put no garlic because I got all these peppers and stuff in it. And to top it off, I always, I know, because honey is so good for you. Uh, they tell me honey make you look pretty, so I use it. You know, I just use a little bit, just a tap of it. And put it in there to get the flavor. It's coming up. Let's see. I started with the onion. I put onions in here. All the four types of uh, bell peppers. I use red, the orange, the yellow, and the green. And I put a little salt and pepper in here and just a little honey. So I'm gonna mix it up now, so I'm gonna mix it up. See if I need any more crackers or anything. So I'm doing that, y'all. Yeah. You should you always use gloves, and you know, when you're doing this, because it's easy to get together, the gloves. See, I look at it, let me see, do I need any more peppers and stuff in it? Cause that pepper, when that, when that pepper fry into these things, these things gonna be so good. I know you probably never seen them cook like this, but this is mad in recipe. Right food when I put it in, in the skillet. I don't want it to. You don't have the right uh, taste. I'm put a little bit, it's kind of wet. I don't want to, when I'm frying them, I don't want to uh, take, I don't want to break up. And some people take and bake them, but I don't like that baking salmon. I like mine to be fried. Cause really, you know why I eat my salmon? You wouldn't believe it. I take me some biscuits, hot biscuits, and some syrup. And God knows, it'd be so good. But that's what you call country. Okay, I'm gonna take them, make them. See, inside this, you gotta, I like the mine to be kind of big. I should get about four or five out of this. Out of those three little cans I had. Make sure you, uh, you're doing this. Make sure they see how they make them, make sure they're smooth because when they're not smooth, sometimes they break up. So just take them. Okay, one down. Is that good, that look? It's one down. Okay, I'm making the second one. I might get four out of here. I said five hundred. You can't say what you're gonna get out because how big you. It's called how you make them big. These people, my family, they like to eat honey, so I make them kind of fat. <laughs> you can eat sometime when you're unhappy and make you feel better. You know, look pretty now. And you kind of smooth them out, you know, because when they smooth out, they won't crack. Let's keep them smooth. And you see how much of crackers I put in to make it? You put enough crackers or breadcrumbs or cornbread, anything you want to put in there. So they can be, you know, make them so they look just like this. I got five. I think I got five. One might be smaller than the other one. Yeah, but that's okay. Now you can put these in the oven, but I would like to mine to be in a little oil. Like I said, honey, my mama used to cook mackerel, which is very good for you, better than salmon. You know, it's got whatever the, 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 that fish got in, it's really good for you. But I just, I like salmon better than I do mackerel. Okay, now these salmon, I got five, four kind of big size. I mean, these are sizes that I, if I went to a restaurant, oh, that's the size I want. This is the size for, uh, for you know, person don't eat that much, but you put enough oil in here to, uh, just to, you know, cover them so they won't stick. Just a little oil because you're gonna strain it about, that's not good enough. Let it get hot. Okay, I'm gonna get a little hot. Cut the stove, probably. Not, wait, just want to get hot so they can cook. I'm ready to put them in the skillet now. Let's 
Yeah, I could have been a little hotter. They're fine. Here. Well, get both of them in the skillet. That's good, right? Make sure they're kind of together. get brown. So you see some holes kind of open, kind of close them up so they won't break up. Okay. They've been frying for a while. I'm going to just take them to see if they, and you can pick them up. They'll be kind of crunchy. This one looks like it's almost ready. I'm going to let it cook about it. one more minute. See how they staying together? Oh, they look good when they finish. Sometimes when I'm turning them over, I kind of use them. Two spatulas? No. Try to flip them over. Oh, see how good that look, y'all? Yeah, that look good. They kind of hard. They kind of look clumsy in picking them up, but oh. that looks so good. Oh, Terry, do you have any uh, biscuits and syrup? No, mm -mm, no syrup, no biscuits. I should have known that. Mm -hmm. Oh, they look good, y'all. Okay, now. Nah. They kind of look, I like mine to be like that because one thing about salmon, they could be crispy on the outside, but on the inside, they're going to be wet. They're going to be soft and stuff. This is, I like this because when I sock them up with that syrup and biscuit, it's good. So I'm going to look and see how they're looking. Oh, about a few more seconds. Okay, I think they're about ready. How they pick up. And I said on here, I'm going to drain them really good. So that grease will come off, of, you know, soaking this paper towel. These times I'm gonna take the, uh, the paper towel, just let some of the grease soak in them. And um, I'm gonna take them, put them, take them off the paper towel and lay them right here on the plate. Put my little syrup on here. All I need is some biscuits. That's all I just need. Some biscuits. I'm trying. You see how soft they are on the inside? Oh, man, see how they're real soft on the inside, see? Let me put this little piece in my mouth. Mm 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 mm. These some of the good. Honey, these salmon were so good, I had to come and sit down to the uh, dining room table because they are good. Mm. I'm gonna finish this myself and make sure y'all tune into the Fourth Year Family. Subscribe, and this is from Maddie Kitchen. Thank you, and have a good afternoon. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the Foreshore Family Channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya!